Okay, so that contract filled, we got the funds, a little bit better off. Okay. But we're not there yet. We need to get those EVAs done so that we can we can unlock the Probodobodyne. Uh do we have yeah, let's let's get a space around Kerbin contracts for the EVAs. I like that Probodobodyne is actually the company that's offering this contract. Now, the thing is, I don't know if we've got that situation. I don't know if you guys remember. When doing EVAs, they tended to slide off. Do you guys remember that in the previous version? I'm worried about that right now. Because if if our EVA in Kerbal slides off, I'm going to have a tough time getting them back in. I'm going to have Val do it this time. I want 45 science from this in order to unlock the Probodobodyne Octo. And so if we can't get around Kerbin through EVAs, we're going to have to send Valentina all the way out to the moon to do EVAs there. So that's the plan. Uh, otherwise, I'll be satisfied as long as we get the 45 and then we'll bring her back. We'll do the EVAs with a much uh, safer craft than this if necessary. Okay, here we go, Valentina. You know, Valentina, maybe we should have put you in a polar orbit this time, because then you would have covered more more biomes with your EVAs. I think maybe with some of the bug fixes, maybe we won't get so much flipping, but I'm not tempted to try and find out. We've got a little bit of an inclination going here, but I don't want to correct it if it means deviating too much from the prograde vector. Okay, that's the end of that stage. Okay, I'll just go to Apoapsis and roundify it there. Let's um No, let's let's get into orbit first before trying anything funny. So my goal is to try and land a probe on the moon by the end of this stream. And that will be if we can unlock that octo. Okay, that's good enough orbit. This is still lit enough, maybe? Uh, I don't like this very much. Hold on, let's try and illuminate the possibilities here. Okay, I'm gonna have my fingers on the W and S, so... Oh darn, it always changes the camera. Okay, she doesn't seem to be sliding anywhere, that's good. EV report Highlands. Uh, let's keep the data in board. I think we have enough to transmit the data. Let's let's try and transmit. Probably shouldn't do that too much, but anyway, 4.8 science. Let us proceed. So Val is the first Kerbal in this series, in this install. I usually, they're, they're synonymous for me usually, but anyway, that has done an EVA, and we'll do, oh, that didn't seem right. Okay. Deserts, excellent. Uh, keep the data aboard, and let's, we can transmit that off too, but we'll keep the rest. Why does the camera have to be always on the opposite side of the Kerbal? Is that, does that have to be a thing? Waiting for shores here. They do still slide off. There we go. This should be water. Gotta wait for mountains here.
There we go. And why don't you EV immediately for grasslands? Nope. Could we get one for being right over the KSC? I don't think we are right over the KSC. We've got that inclination to us, so we're not actually flying over it. So now, I want to calculate my delta V here to find out whether I can either transfer to the moon or at least get high over Kerbin. We can go high over Kerbin, but I want to see if we can transfer to the moon. 1,508.41, so yeah, we can transfer to the moon. I'm not going to do all the moon's biomes, even though it seems like we have enough delta V to get into orbit around the moon. We, that's probably cutting it pretty close. Okay, so just waiting for the moon to rise. Right click the pod to store data rather than keep jumping out. Well, that's just a pattern because I uh, normally you have to wait until you get to another biome, right? So you might as well pop the kerbal back in. And especially in point nine zero, I was always afraid of the kerbal uh, sliding off of the capsule. So I just wanted to get the kerbal back in as quickly as possible, generally. Yeah, you don't want to keep the kerbal out on EVA for longer than is necessary, right? I mean, that's dangerous stuff. Especially since the pod doesn't have an SAS unit on its own. It could wiggle about, couldn't it? So, there's, there's a moon transfer. Not entirely sure if it's necessary to even have a tutorial video about this. But, that's it. See the moon, burn prograde. Just get reasonably close to the moon's orbit. And it should be fine. Okay, well... Got a little bit too close there, but here we go. Okay, keep that bored. And I suppose Valentina's going to be the first to do uh, EVA around the moon. Alright, typical crash course towards the moon. Oh, the SAS, oh yeah, again disengaged because we were now uh, west-ish, seems like the right idea. Let's see. Can we tilt that down a bit too? No, that's the wrong way. Okay, so we're not going to try and get into orbit just yet. And Val, it is time for you to do the first EVA around the moon. Okay, high over the moon, keep the data, board. Excellent work. Now, whatever biome we happen to be over close to the moon. Okay, Midlands, keep the data and board. Alright, land. Well, uh,. Uh, that is what we're accumulating science for. We have to do a probe landing first, right? We have to do things in the proper order here. Uh, well, as long as we've got... Uh, we've got a fully developed Kerbal Space Program as opposed to the older spa Kerbal Space Program where all you could do was land a Kerbal on there. We, we want to keep our Kerbal safe. We keep our Kerbal safe around here I except when I lose Jeff, of course. Wow, okay. Well, out to Apple Apsis again. This is pretty far out. We could probably have boosted to Minmus without any trouble. 30 kilometers turned out to be pretty harsh. It didn't blow anything up, but it brought us down sharply. Let's try 35. Yep, yeah, okay. So, general principle, if you're going to land on the moon, make sure you can get back home again. Basic idea. Unless you're a probe. If you've got a probe, then you don't have to worry. Okay, here we go into Kerbin. The moon looks like a tiny dot. We've, we've really gotten flung out pretty far here. Uh, where do you control the throttle? I mean, where do I control throttle? 
Oh, you mean the, the actual keys? I actually don't use the keys. I actually have a joystick. So I actually have a throttle on my joystick for that. Yeah, and you can limit the thrust too. If you right click, you can have a thrust limiter here. So if you want to limit thrust like that, that's a possibility too. Yep, I suggest wiki.kerbalspaceprogram.com and uh, that has a little uh, page called key bindings and that'll tell you all the keys you need to know. So, highly recommended you check that out. It'll give you a whole lot of good information. It tells you all about the planetary bodies and especially the gravity of them so that's super vital if you're going to try and do interesting things. Oh yeah, Das Valdez. Das, Das, Das Valdez. I always pronounce his name wrong. And the funny thing is, like, I think it was yesterday he talked about pronouncing people's names wrong and I always get his wrong. Yeah, so here on Twitch, das, das Valdez has Kerbal Space Academy, and he does an excellent job with uh, showing exactly what keys he's using, and, well, everything to do with teaching everybody about the game. And including stuff I don't know, too, so. I'm reasonably sure this is good enough to bring the orbit all the way down, but I'm going to retroburn here. Try to make sure the... Periapsis doesn't go down. So here, we're making sure the periapsis remains relatively stable. And I'm pulling the orbit down with my remaining fuel. Yep, your uncle graphic designs graphics for Blue Origin. You had an intelligent conversation with a rocket science scientist without having to ask a lot of questions. Yep, this game, this game, yes, it is an amazing game. Blue Origin, though, they, they did a launch recently. I caught that. I Am I not still in orbit? I am not still in orbit. I dumped the engines. I am coming down. Now, um... You can see, I it's I knew that one end of my orbit was so low that it would bring me down. That's the key. So in Kerbal Space Program, space starts at 70 kilometers. Everything below that, there's some atmosphere. And there's more atmosphere as you go down, of course. But I had one end of my orbit at uh, 30, I think it was like 32 kilometers. And so having that end of the orbit at two, 32 kilometers, I knew that that would bring my orbit down because the atmosphere would create drag to slow me down. Now you don't uh, you can air brake below 70 but you want to be significantly below 70 in order to air brake because if you are just at 65 it'll take a lot of orbits. It'll eventually happen. It'll eventually happen but but you would want to be, I would say 30 to 35 kilometers is a good starting range for testing out your aero braking. Now we're all dark. I'm going to turn on the heat thing, the temperature overlay, just so we can see it. I should have done that earlier, too. Okay, splash down and recovery. Okay, so 50 signs from that. We transmit some. We have 107 signs total. We're, we're still pretty far from the KSC, 56% only. Valentina didn't gain any... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How can Valentina not gain any experience from doing that many EVAs? And also being the first Kerbal to do an EVA. I think that needs to be fixed. Just saying. Okay. So, now, what I wanted was the Probodobodyne Octo. Because this has stability assist. And I can't make a moon landing without stability assist, so that has to be a thing. Okay, we have spent our science. Let us let us build a probe. Why is this showing red? I've just pushed. Okay, I've pushed F11 a few times now, and the red isn't going away. Let me push the other keys that they've added. 
No? Okay. So, um... Is this a bug or a feature? I think it's a bug. Hope it doesn't mind the clipping. Part limit. Good point. Um... Yeah. Okay. Change of plans. Bigger fuel tank. Yeah, we've got a bigger fuel tank. Uh, yeah, 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 that's a good point too. Let's do that. Glad to have you guys on board, by the way. Inline battery. Well, that's... interesting. I guess I might as well. It's just the convenience of where to put it. Okay, well, let's unlock it and try it out. I, I just don't like the way this is looking. Let me quickly do some Delta V stuff. Ooh, really? Wow, okay. This, this ladies and gentlemen, has 2,744 Delta V. Doesn't look like much, but it's, it's serious stuff. It is a fine craft. I don't know, well, maybe. This is pretty flat surface, though. Maybe it's just better to do this. Not looking... Not looking great. I sort of wish I had one of those... I mean... Should I do the service bay thing? It's just another part. I hate the look of this. No, I'm not planning to recover it. No, no. We are landing on the moon. It says, the contract is transmit or recover scientific data from the surface of the moon. We're landing, not bringing it back. Not bringing it back. Yeah, I think the other batteries were better. Just from a visual standpoint. This is going to have some drag on it. Let's let's see how much drag. I I'm willing to test that out, heck. We might be able to bring, uh, it, it might be possible to bring it back, but let's do a test first. I mean, if, if it turns out that we had enough Delta V, then that's great. But let's do a test first and, and then see, because, you know, the parachutes do have mass, right? They're not, they're not tiny. Our Delta V on this top bit is going to go down like crazy if we put parachutes on. So keep that in mind. Yeah, I was pondering solar panels. Uh, I was seeing how much part count I had before I decided whether to slap solar panels on. Yes, I need an antenna. And that will be the last part, I guess. You know what? Maybe we should at least get one solar panel on. So, we're at the part limit. And the question is whether I should dump something in order to add a solar panel. Could dump a battery. Yep, I'm gonna dump a battery. I'll just have one battery on the side here. I'm gonna move the commutron here. Come on, you. In order to counterbalance it. But it won't quite balance the drag. That's interesting. Let me poke the battery in a little bit. And I am going to unlock full voltaic panels and put one on. Okay, I don't know if that'll do too much good, but it'll be there. Okay, so here we go. This is our Mooner Lander. Mooner Lander Probe. Whatever. Okay. This should be enough, right? This should be plenty. All right, uh, 13,000 funds. Should I do a delta V calculation? Let's just go. I'm running out of time here. Let's just go. So antenna, check. Science, check. We've got a reaction wheel. So we should be able to control this. Throttling up. Let's make sure we've got that visible and launch. So just remember, I don't need to throttle all the way up uh, on launch with this. So I'm going to throttle back a bit. 
the center engine is just for control at this point. Uh, it's feeling a little bit aerodynamically unfriendly. It's listing towards one side. Wow. I don't want an inclination. The moon is at zero inclination. Oh crud, oh crud, come on. Oh wow, oh. Come on, oh jeez. Okay, we have delta V. I'm not going to aim for a perfect orbit. Trying my best to get my orbit down to a zero inclination, aiming for a 90 degree mark, of course. But the prograde vector does not want to comply. Once we get past 40 kilometers, I can force it. Oh, let's also roll so that the solar panel is facing the sun. 80? Okay. So, attempting to land on the moon with a probe, if you're just joining us. Probe's just got a temperature, a thermometer, so just got to do a temperature scan. Okay, where is the moon? Uh, we're going to have to wait for about three quarters of our orbit to transfer to the moon. On the bright side, we will be on the bright side. Okay, so that's that. Don't tell me to do any silly tricks like turning off batteries in order to prevent electric charge depletion. We are not doing that. What we will do is we'll turn off SAS, but we still have 0.02. That worries me. Let's just do it like that. Okay. Alright, hopefully that will preserve us. Okay, good. Prograde. And go. Parachute in place of the nose cone. Yeah, I thought about that, but the mass. The parachute weighs more. Nose cone is ten times less than the parachute. How do we feel about the unshrouded solar panels are now non-retractable in 1.0? What? I don't... Sounds like a bug to me, too. Okay, well, we're on our way. Oh, this stage is almost done. Okay, but uh, if my delta V calculation was correct, we should be fine over there. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know about the solar panels. I'll just I'll just deal with it, whatever it is. So, which direction do I need to be? Sorry, I'm trying to think here. So, just keep that in mind. Might not be the most conversant time for me. Okay, well we've made that adjustment. We still got a t tiny, tiny bit of fuel in this. Uh oh, we're we're draining. We're draining. Uh, north south and rotates. Solar panel, definitely a good idea. Whoever suggested it. Thank you for pointing that out. Okay, we need to go for orbit. Are you retrograde? Yep. Okay, that looks like orbit to me. Let's bring it down. Definitely want to go down on the bright side of the planet. Moon, I mean, of course. Let's try that out. 
Oh, curb and rise. I want to make sure my solar panel continues to be well exposed. Come on. And let's get gear down. Do we have a particular target? Nah. Looks like it's just like Midlands or something. Let's land around here. Wow, that's that's pretty quick. Switch to surface mode. Always make sure that you're on surface mode. This looks like a nice spot here actually. Let's just come straight down on this. Okay, trying to think through this. Let's see. Tenth mission. Went with Bill the Scientist so you could get more science, but he didn't have SAS controls, so it was quite a trip. Oh, I believe that. I'm not going to try doing that on a live stream, I'll tell you. That, that uh, That's the sort of daring thing that I'll do when I'm not trying to talk at the same time. I'm just going to be really conservative with this landing. Quick, everyone start asking him questions as he tries to land. Well, I reserve the right not to look to my left where the screen with the comments are, right? I mean, at least in these critical times when I must have full con... Well, actually, you know, with the Delta V we have on this lander, I don't need my full concentration. I just need some concentration. Uh, if I don't manage to land this properly, it will be a sad day indeed. Oh, uh, how much fuel for a ton is in the rocket equation? 90 units of liquid fuel is one ton. Oop, I started going up. Now, you, you did distract me. Wow, that's amazing. Anyway, uh, yeah, so you just take how much liquid fuel you have here and divide it by 90, and that's how much uh, fuel you have in tons. Uh, I'm counting the oxidizer, so I'm just using the liquid fuel because the liquid fuel and oxidizer always comes in a set ratio, uh, so it won't work for the nuke and not for the, what you call it, the jets, but it still works. Uh, so just take, just trust me, take how many units of liquid fuel you've got, divide by 90, and that's how many tons of total liquid fuel and oxidizer you have, unless you're using a jet or the nuke, in which case all you have is liquid fuel and the equation is different. Do you have that equation? Yes, yes I do, as a matter of fact. Delta V equals 9.81 times ISP times LN of your mass ratio. Where are you, Shadow? Ah, there you are. Okay. How do magnets work? You're too late, you're too late. There's a stream delay. <laughs> okay. Transmit. Okay, uh, alright. We actually have a living probe on the surface. In other words, uh, it's getting electric charge. But we filled our contract. So that is all done. Alright, science data from the surface. We did that. All right, let's just go to the Space Center to take stock. Liquid fuel to ton ratio. I don't actually know the liquid fuel to ton ratio off the top of my head. It's always LFO. All right, so we've got a little bit more science. We got 120K funds. I'm going to leave it here. Oh, there's the warp to next morning. Okay, let's do that. I've never tried that before. Okay, warp to next morning. Never done that before. All right. A biome hopper for next episode. We need a Minmus contract. Can we get a Minmus contract? Fly by Minmus. Okay, well, that's the first thing. Um, we'll parse out the contract. Oh, we have to rescue a Kerbal from orbit contract, too. I'll have to decide uh, which one 
of all these I want to do. We've got two rescue Kerbal. How did those two Kerbals get... We got three! Wait a minute. We have three rescue a Kerbal contracts. Oh, boy. Okay, so I'll have to think about... Definitely I want to do the Minmus one. I've been saying the whole stream that I want to do the Minmus one. But... Yeah, which of these we want to do? And some of these are very important. And some of these are wayward Kerbals that we can uh, get without spending any funds in the astronaut complex. All right, so those are decisions I will make next time. With uh, this, with this achievement of landing a probe on the moon, I'll say thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this stream, please do consider following, and I will see you next time.